today's topic is graphing a function of the form f of x equals ax plus b for the fractional slope. Now I'm going to do this twice. Once I'm going to do it on paper and pencil, and then I'm going to go over to Alex and show you how to do it on the computer. So, um, when you have a function in f of x is equal to ax plus b form, that is the same as y equals mx plus b, if you've ever heard of that. And whatever the coefficient is on your x, that's actually your slope. And then the b, whether it's plus b or minus b, it can be either one, that's the y-intercept. So when I'm looking at this over here, the plus 3 is my y-intercept. That means it's going to cross the y-axis at a positive 3, and that's where I'm going to put my blue dot. But then the slope is, whoops, sorry, <laughs> had to use my highlighter, <laughs> not my yellow pen. The slope is negative 2 fifths, which means for every two units that you go down for the negative, you're going to go over five to the right. Now I'll use my pen. So I'm going to go down one, two, and then go over one, two, three, four, five. And I find another point on my line right here. If I did it again, I would go down one, two, over one, two, three, four, five, and there's another point on my line. Now, you don't always have to go down, like when the slope is a negative two-fifths, that is the same thing as negative two over positive five, which is also the same thing as positive two over negative five. There's only one negative, and it can either go with the numerator or it can go with the denominator. And what I just did in yellow was this. I went down 2 and over 5. But it is possible to do it this way, which is up 2 and 5 to the left. I'll do that in gray. I can go up 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the left. But you can see those blue dots are all in a straight line. I'm going to attempt to draw a straight line here. Uh, I guess I'll do that in pink. <laughs> it's hard to do on my computer. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Pretend that's a straight line, all right? I'm doing the best I can. Um, they're all in line. They're all in line. So I don't care if you want to go up the stairs or go down the stairs. <laughs> what I did in yellow was going, I call it going down the stairs because you go down to and five to the right. Um, what I did in gray is going up the stairs because you go up two and five to the left. So they're all still in line. Now that's if I did it, you know, old school, paper and pencil. But let me switch over to Alex, okay? And I'll have to use my mouse now. I can't draw on this, unfortunately. Um, my y-intercept on this particular example is this positive 9. Okay, so we want to draw a line. I'm going to click on the line tool right here. It's just highlighting. Click. And you're supposed to place the first point. That's going to be at 9 on the y-axis. So right there and then click. And now you're going to place the second point. Now this one you got to be careful. You got to use your eyes. My slope is negative three fourths. Because my y-intercept is so high up on the y-axis, I actually can't go up the stairs. I'm going to have to go down the stairs. There's not enough room to go up. Okay, I go off the grid. So from here I'm going to go down one, two, three and then over one, two, three, four to the right, and click enter and lock it in place. And then click check and click. 
correct. <sighs> the crowd goes wild. Anyway, that's how you can do it on Alex. And if you didn't quite get that, I can click more practice and it'll generate another one. Okay. I'm graphing a line, so go to the line tool, which is right here. Click. The line shows up. You want to place your first point on the y-intercept, which is negative 1. So I'm going to move this down one unit. And then my, and you want to click enter after you place it there. Then it jumps over to the other point. Now my slope right here is negative one fifth. So I'm going to go down one and then over one, two, three, four, five. I haven't clicked enter yet because I want to show you that if you look at the other way, like I can't draw on this, but um, it's crossing the X axis at negative five. Do you see that? Look at the X axis. The red line crosses the X axis at negative five. I can get that. I'm going back to this point from here. If I go up one and one, two, three, four, five to the left, there it is. So it doesn't really matter whether you go down one and five to the right or up one and five to the left. It's the same line and I click check, check, and there it is, correct. And if you want more practice, click on more practice. But that's all there is to doing that, whether it's paper, pencil, or an Alex.